In May 2023, I spoke to Dr. T.J. Bolt about the standard presentation he uses with his patients. Before we got into the detail of the presentation, T.J. shared what he regarded as the secret to success with BiteFX. Here's what he said. This is a secret that is something that Dr. Schuster always talked about. You, when you interview in your very first encounter with a patient, it's easy to just take them back there, look in their mouth, and then start talking about bite FX after the fact. Where the real power comes in is to find out exactly what the person's having an issue with before you get back in the exam room, and then help them to become their own expert. Because in our model, we don't use expert model, we use self-trust model. It's a big difference. And as a level three doctor, the goal is, is to form an interdependent relationship. And that's where there's equal sharing of responsibility. And in order to have that happen, you got to help the patient so that they can make good decisions for themselves. And the only way they can operate through a self-trust model is to help them understand what's really going on before you get in there. That way, see, I separate my interview with my full analysis, bite analysis, into two different appointments. Because I don't want to be going through all of that and then end up having them say no. I want to increase my chances of them saying yes. So if a person's really not interested in that much and they're just kind of maybe exploring the idea, they're in pre-contemplation or maybe even just contemplation, but pre-contemplation before that, where they're just getting kind of their facts, that gives them an opportunity. And then they go home and think about it. And if they're really serious about doing something about it, then they call back or they set up an appointment that day if they really feel obligated. But I, I tell them, and that's the reason why my articulation is so far into the series, because I tell them now, if we see these things, here's what we want to do. We got to go to the next level and do this in-depth bite study. And I'll put a cause and effect relationship to it. But I want you to be able to see what I'm looking for. So if you see these things, then you might want to do something about it. And here's the next step. And I tell them that's what that is. So you're not in this presentation. There's no point where you're waiting for them to say, well, what do you do about it? No, that's that's later on. That's later on. And if they happen to ask, because sometimes they do, I try not to because they don't have enough value for what. Why talk about a solution? when a person doesn't even own the problem. I mean, they don't even, they don't they don't necessarily believe, a lot of times they don't necessarily believe that you're, that they've got temporomandibular joint issues, right? So you have to build a case for why you wanna to go to the next level. So even when we do new patient exams that don't have anything to do with temporomandibular joint disease or occlusal disease, we still do an interview and then build a, a, a case to invite them to do a code discovery examination. That's really what this is, is a code discovery. That's why you got to help people to understand what's going on. So when they see it, they co-discover with you and then they know what that means. So that's why I do this. Later in our conversation, TJ came back to why he regards the code discovery component as being so important. When I've ever done a, a lecture for bite FX that I've always tried to bring out to the people listening is, is that so many, many, many times dentists are looking for the silver bullet. And then they try bite FX and they don't have any of the background. They don't have, they don't know how to structure anything. They just pull this out and expect that the patient's just going to bite on that and move forward. But they're giving people solutions to problems that they don't have. And that's why the whole co-discovery is so important because you have to show people what is happening there because pain is the last stage of the disease process. So they might not even know they got a problem and they think you're just finding something to do. And that's why the whole co-discovery is so important. So that's a quick summary by Dr. Bolt of why coming to patients with a co-discovery mindset is so important. You can hear more from TJ in other videos discussing how to present splints and exactly what he shows and says to a patient before his initial exam.